Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Well today we're going to take a GoPro Hero 7 Black that we picked up at Costco. I'm going to unbox this one, kind of show you what you get from Costco. They're currently on sale. Um, I suspect the price will probably go down now that the Hero 8 is out. But we're going to unbox this one, kind of show you what the basic uh, Costco package comes with. And then we're going to build a vlogging kit. I got to give credit to uh, Harley Designs. He's got some uh, 3D printed parts that you can order. I'll put all the links down below for all the pieces. There's actually a company called Shapeways that you get the 3D parts from, but uh, I believe it's his design, so I want to give him credit for that. Then we're going to put together this other kit, and I'll kind of show you the difference with a, with a mic and all that kind of thing, so it's going to be pretty cool, so stick around. So I got all my parts here for this kit that we're going to put together. I'm going to move this out of the way just to give us some room. We're going to unbox this Hero 7 Black that we just picked up at Costco. They're currently on sale, like I said before. Basically, you've got your instruction booklet. I'm sure there's a warning in here about the batteries. You know, normal stuff. Um, pictures to show you how to put it together. And then, most importantly, got the action cam itself. We'll set that aside here. And then the cool thing about buying these at Costco is you get this little accessory bundle. It gives you, uh, I believe this is the head strap. So you can put it on your helmet or on your ball cap. Um, you get the charging cord, of course, power cable. Get rid of that. You've got a couple different options for mounting. Um, stick them on flat surfaces and on curved surfaces, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna set those aside. This is kind of a cool little clip. It goes on your ball cap bill, I believe. Um, I've never used it, but it looks pretty cool. And of course you get the battery, the cage for the camera that we're gonna put in in a second, and the car memory cards. And one last thing in this box is the little foamy grip handle. So this is kind of cool if you're out at the lake or whatever. Um, at the beach and you drop it it'll kind of float in the water so that's kind of cool but it doesn't really give you many other options than that there's no tripod you can't really use it freely without holding it in your hands let's go ahead and put this camera together so the new GoPro um, has these little buttons you have to push and slide kind of like that and that's where you can connect your audio adapter it's where you also charge it. If you don't want to pull the battery out, you can charge it through that. And then if we slide this one open, this is where we're going to insert the battery and we're also going to insert the memory card. The printed side has got to go in toward the battery. So kind of like that. Kind of use your thumbnail to push it down. It should lock in place, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to stick the battery in. Pretty self-explanatory, like that. And these come with a small charge on them, but you want to put the battery in and then charge it fully before you start using the camera. Okay, so this is kind of the basic Costco setup. You got the case, the camera, battery, memory card like I showed you. You can adjust this up and down. This floats. Pretty basic, pretty simple. This is enough to get you out of the box and shooting and on the go. We're going to turn it into something like this. Uh, a good vlogging setup. It's got the mic with the dead cat. You can buy filters here to put on this case. It's really solid. Um, some 3D printed parts. I'll put the links below for all this stuff so you guys can put this together yourself. It's not all that complicated and you can be up and running here in just a few minutes after you get all these parts put together. First, we're gonna take the camera out of this Costco uh, basic GoPro setup that it comes with. So here's just the camera. And then we're just gonna set this aside because we don't need any of these parts uh, for what we're doing today. Let me kind of show you the parts that we have here. So we have this 3D printed part that um, we're going to attach to the bottom of the new aluminum case and this is going to hold the microphone, the GoPro microphone adapter, it's going to hold the mic, and it's going to hold the cable that passes through that plugs the adapter into the camera. This little piece, another 3D printed part, is going to go on the end of the new case, kind of show you here. Kind of goes on the end here to, to give some stability to the GoPro adapter. 
And then we've got a little dead cat for the mic. Uh, some three millimeter hardware. You can buy this hardware on Amazon, but I went ahead and just went down to the local hardware store and picked it up. So we've got two three millimeter flathead screws with um, nylon locking nuts and then two quarter by 20 by half inch flathead screws that we're gonna mount the, this 3D printed part to the bottom of the case. We've got a O-ring here I believe is two and a half by 43 millimeters. We've got this Raipu microphone cord. The cool part about this is it's really small and it fits in this section of this 3D printed part. So it goes together pretty smooth. Uh, let's see, oh, and the tripod. And this little tripod is cool because not only is it a tripod, but it also has uh, the bendable legs. So instead of the, of the little bendable ones you see, this one won't break, won't come apart. Another cool thing about this tripod is it comes with the GoPro adapter screws right on top of the tripod and then the GoPro will fasten to this. We're gonna use the GoPro microphone adapter and get this on Amazon as well. And we're gonna use this Baloo's aluminum case. We're gonna unbox this here in a second. And the ETM-001 directional mic works really good with this setup. And this also, it's like a $20 microphone off Amazon. It's super affordable. This is the aluminum case and it's a really nice case and it's aluminum which is cool more durable and like i said before this uh, allows you to add filters if you'd like um, i'm going to take this little lens off just to protect it uh, because i don't want to damage it while i'm doing some other operations and it has the uh, the sliding back which is cool a little button little ball it keeps it from coming off we'll set that aside so now we have the cage and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull out this little thumb screw. This thumb screw is designed to hold the camera in the case, but we're not going to use it for that. We're going to take this first 3D printed part, and it's actually going to mount on this side of the case. And this already has a hole, right? So we're going to put that like this, and we're going to thread this little piece in, just like this. And it'll hold this 3D printed part on, just like that. And this is gonna give some stability to this mic adapter. All right, this aluminum case also comes with a little shoe that we're gonna mount on the bottom of this additional 3D piece so that we can mount this to our tripod. So we'll set that aside for a minute. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to mount this 3D piece onto this case. And we want to have the microphone cord piece on the rear. So if you're looking at the rear of the camera, you want it mounted like this and in order to do that we're going to use this Greenlee quarter by 20 drill tap it will drill and tap threads into this aluminum case so that we can screw on this th printed 3d piece here all right so we have these two holes in the bottom that are going to be our guide holes for our allen wrench and we're going to thread the opposite holes on the corners so i've got the tap set up in my drill and it's pretty simple we're going to go forward we're going to get through it and then we're going to go reverse and back out and that's going to create our threaded hole I'm going to do the same repeat the same thing on this hole and we're going to take our two quarter by 20 by half inch I'm going to select the appropriate Allen wrench, which is this one. And we're going to feed those. You'll notice these holes are actually recessed for the head of this screw. Off camera, I went ahead and threaded the holes in the 3D printed piece as well because the holes are a little bit undersized, so it makes it easier to put that quarter by 20 bolt in. Now, before I forget, we're going to take this O-ring and we're going to put it around and it's going to go in this slot the o-ring will hold the pieces in so they won't slip out once we get this put together so we're just going to put this around like this and we're going to just stretch it over and make sure it seats down in this groove on both sides just like that and then we're going to be able 
to mount this to this aluminum case. So we'll get the first one started in here like this. And we'll just start it. And we'll get the other one started as well. All right. So we got both of those started there. And then we'll be able to take this and just remember that this piece goes toward the rear of the case. We'll just line those up with the holes that we just threaded. We'll get them started just like that. And you can snug them down. They don't have to be super tight. Just snug them down and make sure that make sure that this part is seated well here. There's no gaps and it's pretty solid. And you see the O-ring now is there to kind of capture and hold these pieces in. Now we have to connect this little shoe to the bottom of this so that we can mount it to the tripod. And for that, we're gonna use these tiny three millimeter flathead screws. Use a longer screw to be able to pull the nuts down inside these holes. On the inside of this printed piece, there's a larger hole for the nut to fit down into. So um, we're gonna have to use some needle nose pliers. And this is where it gets a little touchy because these parts are so small. Basically, I'm gonna take this piece and try to catch this nut and just thread it in just a little bit, just enough to capture it and pull it down into that hole. All right, and then if you can see down in there, this nut will actually pull down into the hole, hold it with your finger and take this longer screw out. And you can kind of see the nut is captured in that hole. So I'm gonna do the same on the other one. So now there's two nuts captured on the inside in the hole. Select my two millimeter Allen wrench And I'm just gonna stick it on the end like that. And just gently thread it in here because you don't wanna push those nuts out through the back. Okay, get the first one started. And then the second one, and this is the, kind of the most difficult part because these are so tiny. You just have to be careful not to push that nut back out. And you can stick your pinky in there too and hold it, it might help, but. And again, just snug them down. They don't have to be super tight. Cause you don't want to round out that hole inside there and make that nut spin. Okay, so there you go. So now you can mount it on your tripod, stick the camera in it. We've got the piece on the side to support that cable. And now we can go ahead and finish the assembly. What we're gonna do next, we're gonna open up this GoPro mic adapter. We'll get it out of the package here. Set this packaging aside. So we've got the GoPro mic adapter and we're going to insert it in here first. So we're going to go from this wide open side or the right side of the case and you kind of have to just wiggle it through there because it's, it's a good fit. We'll get the mic adapter piece in first. There we go, kind of like that. And it's gonna come all the way through. And then we're gonna just force this O-ring aside. I actually found it easier to kind of take it up on the corner like that. And you wanna make sure that this mic adapter port is on the front. And we'll push that in like this. And it's kind of snug, so don't be afraid to push it a little bit. And you can see there, it kind of sits in there nicely. It's a perfect size for this little adapter. And then this will bend up and go into the support piece and plug into the side of the GoPro. The second piece we're gonna add is the actual cable for the microphone. And we're going to feed it through. Now, since our port is on this side, we're gonna feed the female end in through here kind of like this, and it fits beautifully. And then this can just simply plug in like that. We're gonna bring this around and we're gonna put it under the O-ring, like that. And the O-ring is gonna kinda hold it in there, just like that. All right, pretty simple. Then we can take our little microphone, 
I already pulled it out of the package. A little protective thing off the end, and it'll plug right into the little mic adapter. So now you've got a front directional mic on your GoPro. Pretty cool, huh? Well, before we put uh, the camera in, I'm going to pull this mic back off, and it comes with this little foamy cover, which I'm sure is fine um, to get you started. But I also went online and I bought a little package of these dead cats, these little tiny dead cats, and they work really good. Um, just pop right on the mic like this, and this will keep the wind off of your mic, and we'll just put the dead cat on there kind of like that, and then plug it right back in to the adapter. A little bit incognito there with the, with the black fuzz that matches this. Before you can add the camera to this new setup, you actually have to take the door off the side so that you can plug in the mic adapter. Now, it's pretty simple. Just kind of open the door and kind of gently tug it off and it snaps off of this little bar. And that's really, and you want to save this, make sure you don't lose it because if you ever want to take this underwater, you want to put this back on because it seals this port up, protects the camera. Then we're going to slide the camera into the new case. We're going to slide on the new back. And you have to kind of depress that little ball so it'll snap on just like that. And then you can take the mic adapter and plug it in to the side of the GoPro just like that. Since this little cord likes to move around we're going to add a little zip tie so we're just going to add this little zip tie kind of like that and we're not going to snug it down too tight we're just going to snug it down enough to keep the cord from walking out of this little slot I'll kind of center it there just kind of snug it down a little bit and then we'll clip this off we can mount this to our tripod just like you would with the factory GoPro setup. A little screw, you can buy anodized screws and make it a little fancier if you want to, but we're just gonna use what came with the tripod. Screw the lens back on. We got the lens cap, it snaps on. And like I said, you can also buy filters for this ND filters, which is pretty cool. So there you go. So got a, another GoPro setup, just like that. And it matches this one. Now you can also take this apart and you can paint this red piece if you'd rather have it black. This is a lot easier to carry around with you in public. It, it's a lot less noticeable than carrying around a big Canon, you know, ADD or something like that. We're really happy with this and like I said, I bought Tina one for her birthday and I like it so much I ended up getting myself one. A new kit for Jones to travel. We can do 4K with this now. I'll put a card to a video I did in Yellowstone National Park in 4K. So go check that out. Uh, the camera stabilization is amazing and we're really happy with it. All right guys, thanks for checking out the video. Hope you got something good out of this. We really like this vlogging setup. Um, go ahead and check out Harley Designs. He came up with these 3D printed parts and I believe if you send him a message, he'll actually build this for you. Uh, but you'll have to check with him on that. I just wanted to show you how it goes together and uh, you get the 3D printed parts from Shapeways and I'll put all the links below in the description so you can pick this up and build this kit for yourself. That's about all I have for today. Thanks again for following along and uh, until next time, safe travels. Bye. And we'll get the other one started as well. It's not really as difficult as I make it look.